Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my full month's experience using the It Cream award-winning luxury cream by Agustinus Bader. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So I first came across this cream seeing it on a post of one of the beauty influencers that I highly highly respect and that's Rachel from the beauty professor and I believe she claimed that she's that's the only cream she's been using and then I did see another video where she actually spoke very highly of the cream and I think she just finished using a whole bottle and was ready to replenish one so this absolutely piqued my interest as someone who is a skincare enthusiast that rarely happens but when it comes from someone that I respect and then I really get very curious I didn't jump on the bandwagon right away but I definitely started to keep an eye out so I think this was 2018 late 2018 or mid 2018 I've seen this post from Rachel and then fast forward to June 2019 I was in San Francisco I was at Neiman Marcus and I did actually see the cream I was so excited because in Canada we did not have it yet but at that time they only had the 50 mil and I was not ready to shell out that amount for a product that I wasn't really sure I would like although I've seen the reviews just feeling the texture instantly when I was in the store I wasn't very impressed for me to instantly just purchase a full deluxe I mean jumbo size that was the largest size so I kind of forgot about it and then Fast forward to November 2019, I was in Asia and I was in Hong Kong in one of my favorite stores, Lane Crawford. They have a little store in store called Joy's Beauty, which always stock the best, newest, latest, innovative products in beauty. And they happen to have Agostinho, Agostinho's Bad Air. And not only did they have the 50 mil, they actually had the 30 mil. So, I was like okay I think it's meant to be the other products I was looking into I decided not to get because I wasn't so impressed so I decided to finally purchase and bite the bullet with Agostinho Spa Dare. so the one that I got is the rich cream and right off the bat you guys the packaging in Rachel's post it was the first thing that really caught my eye it is just very strong it's not your typical packaging but it's just very strong the box is very simple it looks like this so what I purchased is the rich cream and this one retail I believe I purchased it for 285 US dollars for 30 mil and I know some of you guys are probably thinking I use creams that are a bit more expensive but luckily I've never had to purchase them because they were given by the brand or I do work for the luxury brand. So this is really to me is like a um, huge, huge purchase because I don't usually shell out that amount personally for my skincare. So I did make it a point to really commit myself to the product for an entire month, at least 90% of the time. and. For me, who customizes my skincare regimen almost on a daily basis, that's a very tall order, but with good reason because the philosophy behind this whole product of Agostinho's Bad Air is that it is a one cream product. It is a one product regimen. So they claim that this one product will eliminate your need to use all the other products that you usually have in a regimen meaning your lotion your toner your serum your mask I guess Agostinho's bad air is a prof is a professor he's a medical doctor as well I believe he is a leading professor in regenerative medicine I believe but you guys can look that up 
in this video I'm not gonna share all those details or details about the ingredient as well because those are things you can easily find on the website also this is a very scientific based technology technology based innovative product so most of the ingredients are really straightforward and finding them on the website will be so much easier what I really do want to share with you guys here is how I felt for the whole entire month I've used it what my initial impression was and if I think ultimately after a month of using it it lives up to its claims I'm gonna begin with of course the basics how did it feel what is the texture and consistency of the product so the one that I have is called the rich cream and this one is definitely rich compared to another rich cream that I use, the Dior Prestige Rich Cream. This actually to me is more dense and has less slip to it. So as someone who's tried other luxury rich creams, this one doesn't have as much of a sensation to it when you're spreading it or massaging it in the skin I feel like there's a very quick dry down so you do have to just warm this very quickly and then press it and massage it in the skin I wouldn't even really say massage just press it and spread it and press it in the skin in terms of smell this one if you've used other brands that are very science based even if they're not premium let's say like the ordinary by Dicem it's very similar it's there is no fragrance here at least as far as i can detect it is just straightforward a cream it doesn't to me it doesn't smell unpleasant but it also doesn't smell super beautiful and nice like other creams that i have started using it i immediately actually you guys started using it after i purchased it at lane crawford i was still in hong kong and this is so rare for me to just completely just start using a new product but I did I literally went to the hotel room washed my face and did my regimen again now although I wasn't a fan of the texture and the consistency because I am used to prestige or luxury creams that just give more of that luxury appeal which is our luxury characteristic like the smell and the texture and the fragrance but I still went through with it I applied it on I put makeup on top of it and instantly I like the way my skin look and I know that looks that sounds crazy but I did and I put makeup on top and I love how it didn't move it didn't shift it didn't make my skin feel weird and that was really very impressive for me because I didn't even prime my skin. I literally went for the cream and reapplied my makeup. Usually if I'm trying a new skincare product with no primer, I will get some sort of like not pleasant reaction with my skin or the products, but it wore really well. And ever since then, that whole trip, I was actually I took this out and started using it immediately on a daily basis and I literally did not use my toners, my serums, my lotions and that very first week I was already impressed. I, I could see usually after I try a new product the very first thing I do the next day is just go to the mirror, look at my skin without even rinsing my face just, just from bed and I was very impressed the two things that impressed me was even if I was going through time zone change seasonal change and I was in a hotel room and I was going through I just went through like long flights and short flights usually my skin will react instantly no matter what product I'm using the unevenness and skin tone would show I would have dry patches when I started using this in Hong Kong my skin tone was very even and had zero dry patches and that is super impressive for me because even sometimes the change in water not just the time zone or the long flights really causes my skin to react even with products that are tried and tested on my skin so I was already impressed right off the bat 
So I continued using it for the following weeks and every time I would use it I would really not, I would really abstain from all other products and ultimately after a month of using this what I would say is in terms of the claims that they put out there I think they really live up to the claims. The philosophy of Agustinus Bad Air is that everything that your body needs to renew it already has within it so this just is like a stem cell formula that actually renews your cells to just regenerate and I found that claiming to be the one cream that you need to f meet all those needs I think they really truly live up to it I do see the results and although it is not as luxurious of a feel as I am accustomed to it delivered so I think it is an amazing product I absolutely agree with everyone's reviews on it I think it does deserve its award as the new it cream or the luxury cream of 2019 I believe the price point is steep but if you're willing to invest in skincare or you are a person that does invest in skincare then I highly recommend it and I do approve it so that is it you guys I hope you found this video interesting and informative thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening